Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. I'm your host, Bull, and today we are doing another film breakdown on Jordan Ross. He is our five star, six foot five, 233 pound pass rusher out of Birmingham, Alabama, in the class of 2024. This kid is an absolute stud. Obviously, you know, with him being from Alabama, he was highly coveted by all of the Alabama schools. And it pretty much came down to us and Florida. Very happy that he chose us. There were some questions on if he was going to stay solid with us, but I would have to say that he will. Just based off of the way that our line has played throughout this season, reminds me a lot of James Pierce. Let's go ahead and jump to his film. All right, so we've got him right here in a goal line situation. First thing you notice is good burst off of the football. Good job of taking on that block and maintaining his gap. And then you see he's able to fight over and make this play. Now, take a look right here. He's going to beat these three guys to this play. Engages, great speed, you know, great understanding of what he is supposed to be doing. And he finishes off that tackle right on the goal line. Big time playmaker. You absolutely got to love that. That was at the bottom of the screen right here. Uh, they play a 3-4, so he's right here in a stand-up in position. Does a good job of maintaining leverage, using his long arms to keep those two guys off of him. And then you see this speed. We're going to see it again from this angle right here. Take a look. Once he gets off of this block, the way that he disengages, finds this quarterback, and he has a really high motor. But look at this speed. That is elite speed, especially coming off of that edge. He's going to be an absolute stud. Love what I'm seeing so far in this film. Now he's again playing off of the edge. The play's going away from him. Does a good job again. He's got a really high motor. Tracks that play down backside and helps to create an errant pass from the quarterback. Left side of the screen right here. See him coming off of the edge. You know, pretty much same thing here. He's taking off. Uh, he's taking on blocks and he's able to, you know, pretty much get straight past him and again cause the quarterback to make a bad pass. You're going to see a whole lot of this out of him in the film. Now, he's putting his hands in the dirt right here. This is pretty solid right here. And we're going to see this also throughout this film. Doesn't always do a great job of getting off of those blocks, but he's able to use, you know, his speed and his moves to still kind of maintain leverage. And there, you know, again, you see him just using pass rush moves and speed, making plays on the opposite side of that football about three to four yards deep. Really, really a nightmare for these high school kids to block. Now, watch this here. Gets that paw in there, you know, again, you know, he's just a playmaker, does a good job of getting that football out. He recovers it himself for what looks like a touchdown. Expect to see a lot of that from him once he gets acclimated to the college game as well. Now here, look how versatile he is. His team puts him in at Mike and he blitzes, does a great job of avoiding all those blitzes. Not quite sure how they don't block him, but that's a good tackle. We're going to see it again from this angle. He has a good knack, right? He has a really good knack of just kind of finding his way through those blocks. And he's probably gonna be playing Leo for us. So, you know, he's gonna be coming off of that edge some, dropping in the pass coverage some. And it's just good to see that he is a good blitzer as well. Now look at this again, you know, great job maintaining leverage, fights off blocks well. Okay, now we're gonna see that same play from this angle. I want you to pay attention to what he does right here, right? Because this is something that I really think that he needs to work on and I know that once he gets up on campus and he gets into a college weight room, you know, he gains a little bit more weight and strength. This is not going to be an issue, but take a look at the way that he takes on this block, right? So first thing, boom, right here, what you notice is he can drop his butt down just to taste more, drop down just to taste more. And he needs to explode through this contact and bench press this, uh, this tackle off of him so that he can maintain his area right here where this circle is maintain his area maintain this gap so that this guy right here this linebacker can come up and make a play inside of this gap which is where this play comes to now obviously you know we're not looking at his teammates on this play but moving forward college linebackers are going to see this gap and they're going to explode through it so it's critical that jordan can maintain his leverage and not get pushed back which is what you see right here he's getting pushed back he's getting kind of pushed out of this hole now in college that will create another crease where he is leaving from where the running back 
can get to, especially with another offensive lineman coming behind this. Now, what you see here is that he's able to, you know, he's he's in high school, right? So he's able to use his speed and get off of that block well enough to come back into that gap and help out on this play. Coming off of the edge up top right here. Again, you know, he does a great job of pursuing from the backside. And, you know, that's that's a good play. I mean, you know, he causes that errant pass. Got him here. Playing Mike again. Comes up, you know, does a good job on that blitz. Times it up very well. We're going to see it again from a different angle, from the end zone angle. We're going to see him come up. Time this really, really well. Again, he's got good instincts with this. Does a good job of not getting too far up the field. Taking on that block from the running back, disengaging and making a good tackle bottom of the screen look at the speed off of that football and watch this we're gonna see it again watch this little stutter step that he gives to the inside and you know uh, offensive lineman in high school just have absolutely no chance he goes right around that guy he's gonna be an absolute stud I mean you know he's got elite pass rush moves like I said in the opener he looks and reminds me a lot of James Pierce he's got a lot of the same skill sets now right there you like what you see he's strong enough to be able to throw these guys off Obviously, as he gets into a college weight room, he's going to be able to throw off college players as well. He's got a lot of leverage with that long frame. Good job, you know, again, just getting up the field quick, fighting through blocks and making a play in the backfield. Prototype Leo for what our system calls for. Fights off a block there. You know, again, he's relatively unblocked. I don't know how that happened in high school, but relatively unblocked, but does a good job of fighting through that running back, uh, running back and making a good play on that quarterback. Here, you know, again, comes through, you know, fights through blocks, fights through the gap well, doesn't get too far up the field. Good sound fundamentals. Even if he does not deliver a huge strike, he does a good job of wrapping up and holding guys up so that his teammates can rally and help him in that tackle. That's really all that you want to see. Here, very, very good job of being patient, not getting too far up the field, falling for that fake, and helps his teammates out on the tackle backside. They're gonna go away from him a lot just because he's such a game record, as you can see right there. If you come to his side, that's what's gonna happen. So, really good film. Let's go ahead and get into Jordan Ross's grades. All right, so we're gonna start off with his athlete grade. Number one thing that you notice is that for a tall, long, rangy guy, at six foot five, 233 pounds, he's super fast. He's got a great burst and he's got a whole nother gear. You know, we constantly see him running past his teammates to make tackles. He's got a really high motor. I really like what I'm seeing from him. I don't think I've ever seen a pass rusher with the type of speed that it looks like he has on film. It's been a very long time if I have. And just that by itself, it's going to be really hard for anybody to block him on any level of football. I'm going to give him five stars right here as an athlete. Now for toughness and physicality. Number one thing that we notice, obviously, with Jordan being an edge guy, he does a good job in high school of setting that edge, maintaining that leverage. Looks like he wants to be physical. He just needs to get a little bit stronger, right? Now, he's got all of the tools outside of maybe just that core strength that he's probably gonna need a little bit more of to be able to fight off blocks and maintain leverage in college. But again, you see his willingness and you see that he understands what to do there. Just needs to pick up his strength a touch more. I'm gonna give him five stars here. So for that reason, I'm gonna give him four stars on toughness and physicality. Now for Jordan's run stopping grade. Number one thing that we do see is his willingness to get in on stopping run plays. Does a great job of scraping across the line of scrimmage, has a really high motor, and because he's such a great athlete, it's gonna help him out tremendously all the way up, even in college, and if he goes pro, it's going to help him out tremendously at stopping the run. Now, we did talk about he needs to get a little bit stronger. That's something that is going to come. I'm not too concerned about that very willing very able to stop the run not a big thumper whenever he makes tackles but he is a very sure tackler and that's really all that you need 
as he gets stronger again he's just going to be even more physical and i'm going to give him five stars right here as a run stopper all right now for jordan ross as a pass rusher obviously you know this is a tall long rangy guy we know about that burst off of the football we know about the way that he has a tireless motor and he continues to pursue the quarterback i would say that probably 95 percent of being a good pass rusher is just effort we know that he's going to give great effort his fundamentals are going to improve and so is his strength as he continues to play football as he gets into a college weight room He's going to be an absolute nightmare. Again, it reminds me so much of James Pierce. And his ceiling might be just a little bit higher because I think he's a little bit faster than what James Pierce is. Coming off of that edge, man, he's going to be an absolute game wrecker. I love what I'm seeing from him as a pass rusher. And I'm going to give him five stars right here in this category. All right, now it's time for Jordan Ross's blue chip overall grade. And just to recap, we gave him five stars as an athlete, four stars on toughness and physicality, five stars as a run stopper, and five stars as a pass rusher, which brings his blue chip overall grade to a higher level four star. Now, I know that he's listed as a five star in 24 7 sports, and I was, you know, kind of being a little bit critical of him right here. He very much could have easily been given a five star grade because the only thing that i have a knock on him for right now at this moment is his strength i absolutely have no doubt that once he gets to college he is going to get a lot stronger he still has a lot of room to be able to gain weight and for him to already be about 235 pounds just think about him being able to play at 250 maybe even 260 looking exactly how he looks and really even better than what you're seeing on his high school film this guy i mean period point blank he could potentially be a first round draft pick. Huge, huge pickup. So thankful and so happy to have him be a part of this Tennessee volunteer team and everyone else in Vol Nation should be as well. Thank y'all as always for tuning into this channel. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks. Peace.